Here we go. My name is Monstrosity, and I'm one third of Chimera Team Gaming, dropping in some knowledge for all you out there wondering how you can get more out of your NBA Live 19 demo. Now, don't forget the game comes out September 7th. If you pre order you, and you have EA access, you can get that 10 hour early gameplay. But let's go back to the demo, which is free to download on base, both PlayStation and Sony. Now, we have two questions that I would like to answer real quick, and here they are. We're going to talk about the hype level. So, career hype wise, the highest level you can get is a, a pro level 5. Now, how do you get to a pro level 5 if you can only get if your character to a level 10 and at that point you stop you gaining experience we're going to talk about that real quick but before we go into that let's talk about the rp situation okay so let me jump into the one now as you can see here i only have 955 rp at a level eight and this is the reason behind it there's a 20,000 cap for the demo now once you hit 20,000, you can go to the store and purchase more and get and you know spend it while you got it but if you don't if you get a 10,000 rp for winning the challenge again then you're gonna end up losing that money because you ain't gonna be able to spend it. So let's go over here, you go to the store real quick. Now, we have two options. Because of your hype level, you, can, you unlock a certain number of things. So for weekly gear items, all you have to do is come down to your filters and put unlocked. This will show you all the ones you can purchase that you don't have. Now, as you can see here, I'm rocking some shoes that typically you don't see when you come across in live run. All right, so when we go over here, you got some gear collections and stuff. And for those people that are looking to do head to head, now I have confirmed that anything you do unlock during the demo process will carry over to the full game. So make sure to play it if you want it. And if you don't want it, hey man, do you? You can stay in the lab all day and cross over people up. You feel me? All right, so the next thing you're gonna do. Talking about how, how can I get past level 10 and keep playing with my character? It is simple. Now we go here, we're in the rise. Now when I click on the one, I'm gonna start from the beginning actually. You know what? Let's just do that to walk you through. Alrighty, so we're here at the main screen when you load into your demo of the one. Now, how can I get rid of my character who's maxed out at level 10 and continue playing the game I like playing? Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the one right here and I still haven't completed the rise on this character, but I'm gonna go all the way to the right and go to my edit customize the edit player. Now the focus of this is to delete my character and start a new one, which will get me back to zero. Now, all I have to do is go to appearance. In appearance here, we're going to turn around and delete player. Let's not, do not delete players from your Xbox memory. That's how people lose their stuff. You don't want to lose it. As you can see the outfit of where I'm going to delete my player real quick. Let me come over here. It's saving changes. I'm a level eight. The cap's level 10. I feel like I can, it's a little early to do so. And, and I got kind of annoyed by playing with the slasher. All right, so let's blow it up. Let's play. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and pick a dude. I'm gonna get my facial hair. Uh, you know what? Let me not. Let me just advance. I'm just gonna advance. Let's get this going. All right, so I'm gonna come over here and let's say I want to be a big. You know, as you can see, last time I had a slasher. I'm gonna do a stretch big. And the only reason why I'm showing you this is so that I can show you that my gear has has is still with me. So I, I'm over here. I'm loading up, and I'm gonna just show you real quick by throwing on the last outfit I had. Alright, the reason why I'm showing you this is just to show you that I still have all my gear that I unlocked in my previous character, and, I st and I'm not losing anything. So I'm, at, I'm back here into the one. I'm going to come over here. Let me go customize. I'm going to edit my player. While this is loading, think about what you're going to rock, because you know my guys are stressed for it, but I'm, I'm going to show you real quick. Right, let me go to my outfit section and throw in the stuff that I previously had. Okay, we got the basic stuff, but let me go to tops. As you see, I'm a fresh player, but look, I got this already some of my gear that I've typically worn. So I'm gonna come here with the, the J's. You gotta fly. And let's go to my shoes real quick just to show you some more. Okay, so we still got some kicks out here. Let me see, let me see when. I'm gonna just go bright as hell. Let me go bright. Alright, so as you can see here, I mean, all my unlocks are still very much here, and I can keep playing the game. Now, there's two ways to approach about this. I've been using it to play different types of player types trying to figure out what I want to drop come September 7th but I would write but some people have been doing it where they keep creating the same player over and over so they can master that skill set before coming out let us know in the comments what's your focus what's your plan and keep getting that RP and that XP game up all right thank you for stopping by don't forget to subscribe and like the page